I needed to extend the three pole wire from our water fountain pump and found this waterproof connector that can connect the two ends making it weather resistant. I ordered a pack of two so let's take one apart to see what makes them so unique. It's about three inches long and it has two end caps. The cylinder in the middle also comes apart. Inside it holds the wire connector socket itself. Both ends have three wire connections since this is a three pole wire connector and each wire connector has screws that tightens each wire in place. A flat or a Phillips screwdriver could be used on them. The tools needed for this is a razor knife, a wire splicer, tape measure, small or flat Phillips screwdriver. I have the end of this wire already spliced. I cut the black insulation about one inch and each wire is spliced to a quarter of an inch. I'll show you how I did it on the next wire to be connected. Before connecting the wires, make sure the end fittings go in first. Then the middle casing. Now the three wires could be inserted on one end of the socket. Just follow the markings on the socket to connect the wires, ground, neutral and live. Loosen all three screws so the wires fit inside them. Make sure the spliced wires are nicely twisted. And insert all three wires and tighten well. and we have one end done. Now before we go to the other end by the fountain I want to show you how the connector seals itself making it waterproof. It can actually be submerged to six and a half feet or two meters. The middle cylinder has a rubber ring that seals the wire connector socket and the end caps have rubber grommets that tighten around the wire completely sealing both ends. The other end of the wire to be connected is prepared the same way as the other one. By peeling no more than one inch of the rubber insulation, exposing three wires to be spliced a quarter of an inch. Then again, not to forget, slide in the end caps to the wire before screwing each wire to the connector, making sure each wire type corresponds with the other side. Once all three are tight, slide each end towards the socket. tighten as much as possible by hand and carefully use pliers to make sure it's tight enough. Plug it in to test it and the connection is complete. If you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section. You all have a great day.